welcome back. My name is Scott and this is another My Bourbon Journey review. So if you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, uh, generally I'm doing reviews of bourbons and ryes. Uh, if that's something that you feel like you'd like to uh, watch, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, also hit the bell notification. That's going to alert you to when I'm doing uh, new uploads or live streams. And then that way it kind of gives you the notification uh, right when I, I basically upload those. So um, one other quick thing, I do have a, uh, a donation uh, link set up. Mine is through uh, PayPal. Uh, I'll have that again in the uh, link in the description below. Uh, essentially, it's a, a donation to the channel for uh, bottle purchases, equipment. Uh, anything that I do get goes directly back into all of these reviews, anything along those lines. So if you do donate, uh, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. So today I've got a bourbon from Cascade Street Distilling. This is their Broken Top Bourbon. Uh, this is an 87.5 proof or 43.7% uh, ABV bourbon. Uh, it is a brother and sister owned, uh, Nick and Katie Beasley. Uh, the company is out of uh, Sisters, Oregon. So it was kind of neat that uh, it was uh, a brother and sister that, uh, that owns this. I thought that was uh, a pretty, pretty neat thing. So. Uh, again, this is their uh, Broken Top Bourbon, again, 87.5 uh, proof. So why don't we go ahead and we'll get into the review. Typically, uh, like I do, uh, as most of you have seen before, I'll get into uh, the appearance. We'll go through the nose. We'll go through the taste, um, you know, go through the finish, things along those lines. Maybe I'll add a little bit of water with it only being 87.5 uh, proof. I don't want to add too much. However, a little bit of water sometimes does have a tendency to change the flavor profile a little bit. So maybe I'll add a, a couple drops of water just to see if, if that does anything uh, to the, uh, the taste profile of that. So why don't we, uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, we'll get into the, the review. So as you can see, a, a really nice kind of uh, amber color um, I believe this is a, a, also I forgot to mention before, but I think this is a, a two year uh, bourbon. I think they even actually mentioned that on the website. So we know it's a, a two year uh, bourbon. So again, nice, nice amber, nice amber color. It's actually picked up a, a really nice color for it only being two years. I'm not sure if they're finishing these in uh, the 53 gallon uh, barrels or not, but um, you know, and again, Oregon, they get a, you know, kind of some, some interesting weather too. So you're getting a lot of that kind of, um, you know, in and out, the, the expansion and contraction. So in and out of the barrels there too. So, I mean, it can get warm and, and cold there. So we're getting a, a pretty good, you know, weather fluctuation to, to allow that to, to kind of breathe in and out of the wood. So anyway, let's go ahead and we'll get into the, uh, the nosing. So I have taken uh, just a, a couple of quick notes before. So I was kind of doing a so one of the thing I got right away uh, with this was the burnt sugars, even a kind of a, a creme brulee type of, of nose. It's, it's fairly sweet up front. Uh, you get a little bit of kind of a light corn, some, some light, like darker fruits. Definitely some, some vanilla. Um, one other thing, kind of a a little bit of a, a granola, like a sweet granola, something that may have uh, other like kind of fruits in the in the granola. I'm kind of picking up uh, something along those lines as well. Um, a little bit of a kind of a, a candy corn. I don't know if it's if it's like a like a caramel corn or just a candy corn, but it's a, a nice kind of sweet sweet nose. So uh, anyway, let's get into the taste. Cheers. So initially you get hit with a, just a little bit of heat, um, more than you would expect from uh, something that's 87 proof, but you do get a little bit of um, uh, heat up front. That, that kind of creme brulee vanilla sweetness is definitely there. Get a little bit of a kind of even a, an orange kind of zest to that as well.
yeah, really nice. Um, again, you're kind of getting that, I don't know, kind of a creamy, like a creamy, sweet, uh, sweet corn type of, of note to that as well. Definitely, the more it kind of sits on the palate, you get that kind of buttery, creamy butterscotch. Um, really, really nice, just, you know, creamy, fairly viscous. Something for, for 87 proof, there's more there than you would think would be there. So they've, they've done a really nice job. I mean, for a, a relatively young bourbon and, and nowadays, I mean, two years uh, is, is fairly young. But they've done a, a really, really nice job. Yeah, there's even a bit of uh, on the back of the palate. You're you're picking up that the oak, uh, something I wasn't getting initially, but now that it's kind of sat there on the palate, kind of a oak, a bit of kind of leather, that dark fruit fairly sweet again wants to coat the mouth fairly well uh finish wise probably on the on the medium side not not really uh very dry a little bit of dryness but not not too bad really really nice but i i think the you know overall they've done a, a really really nice job with with this so i was um you know you're always a little bit surprised when you you're tasting relatively young bourbons or rye. you know you expect to get that kind of grassy um, real grainy type of note but i'm not picking that up very much at all you get a little bit of the corn i think with it being um, more of a high corn uh, based mash bill you're you pick up a little bit of the graininess but really not too bad it's it's fairly sweet and and really nice uh, a really nice kind of mouth coating it's it's yeah, it's it's kind of surprising a little bit to me, but they've they've done a, a really really nice job. So uh, I don't know what their their distribution is, but I will have a link in the description below to their website. So if you want to go check that out and see uh, if there are areas where you're able to to make a purchase, uh, then then feel free to do so. So um, again, I, I think they've done a fantastic job. Now price wise. I wasn't able to to locate anything on this regarding pricing, so I'm not exactly sure uh, what the what the price range is uh, for this at at all. So, um, but again, you know, go check them out. You know, Cascade Street Distilling. Again, I'll have the uh, link to the description uh, below to their to the distillery. So, uh, as always, uh, with the reviews I do, I appreciate everybody uh, watching. You know, leave me some comments. Uh, I'll do my best to, um, you know, return those. You know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, again, I've got the the PayPal donation um, thing set up, which I'll again have linked in the description below. So, um, but I I just want to say, you know, thanks to everybody for for always the the support, the comments, all of that means a lot. So, uh, again, quickly, uh, Cascade Street Distilling uh, out of Sisters, Oregon. This is their uh, straight whiskey. This is, uh, again, a two-year uh, uh, bourbon. That's 87.5 proof or 43.7% uh, uh, ABV. So uh, with that being said, we'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.